Okay, so I am back and I am upset about it. I have my phone and I have my margarita and we got some shit to discuss. Normally my theme music will come in right now, but I have not finished editing that yet, so bitch, we gonna get directly into it. So, I am to Jill Scott like the beehive is to Beyonce, okay? That Jill Scott is my queen. I love everybody else, they're great talents, but for me in my house, it is the lady, J-I-L-L-S-C-O-T-T-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-
Jill Scott does so much shit at her concerts when these men and when these women come. Do you not remember the hoopla maybe about a year ago? Uh, a video of her giving fellatio to a microphone. And, it, and people and people hit, hit the internet and people are like, oh my God, Jill Scott, she's an entire movie. J that was Jill Scott. Jill Scott's been doing that from the very beginning. Jill Scott is very grown. She's very grown. She's, she's a grown-ass woman. And she carries herself like a grown woman. She, she, she... I am so sick of niggas putting down black women. Because the fact of the matter is, but you didn't have to say anything. If Jill Scott is not your cup of tea, bitch, why, why say anything? You could have looked at the picture and said, eh, or meh, and kept on pressing. But to use your platform and your social media to put down a black woman, which we have seen historically from niggas, I don't understand. They put down black women in all kinds of... She's too big. She's too black. I want an exotic one. Girl, nigga. Uh, okay. You didn't have to say anything. And what you are steady doing is perpetuating the, the stereotype of, of European beauty. You are per 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 perpetual. Ooh, Jesus, I couldn't get that out, nigga. Again. It's the margaritas. You are perpetuating and, and, and normalizing what the quote unquote standard of beauty is. But anyone that got two good eyes and bitch, I'm blind as fuck. I can see that Jill Scott is a whole fucking mood and then sexy as fuck. As a gay man, I would consider laying down my burdens and my seed with Jill Scott. So I don't understand where this thought is coming from. And so now that the people have gotten you together, they have trolled you on Twitter and Instagram, Quest Love, Kanye, I think Kanye West, Jay-Z have come out in defense, or not even in defense, but standing with Jill Scott. I, I, I'm just... Now you want to apologize. I'm tired of y'all niggas. I, I, I am. So this was my phone. This is the apology that this motherfucker wants to, wanted to, okay girl, go back, wanted to put out. First and foremost, I would like to apologize to Miss Jill Scott. The topic of your beauty should not have been shared over social media for public discourse. There's truly no excuse or explanations to be made. My comments were disrespectful and unbecoming of a black man to speak negatively of a black woman under any circumstance. Now, mind you, this is my first time reading this. So, bitch, somebody got into his inbox, a friend, a mama, a sister saying, nigga, what the fuck are you thinking? What the fuck are you doing coming after the lady, Jill Scott? He goes on to say, second, I would like to apologize to all of those who were also offended by my post. I'm aware that the layers of hurt I peel back with my words. I had no intention to make people feel less than, but that's simply not good enough. Intention doesn't equate to impact. I am aware of how much more important one's impact is than their intention. Knowing this, I still offended a large number of people, and for that, I am deeply sorry. Again, the same thing that I said. I'm tired of y'all niggas uh, degrading and dismissing black women. If it wasn't for you, nigga. And, and the next thing is, nigga, you ain't cute yourself. Now, you look all right. I, isn't it ironic? Isn't it always the shit where... You have a subpar nigga, a subpar individual having so much to critique, so many opinions, so many words, and sir, you are well, girl, just at the median. You're, 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 you're at the 50% line. 
It ain't like you snatched back to the gods. It ain't like you are God's gift to women, men, trolls, or dogs. It ain't like you are, 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 are the male Aphrodite. No, you are, and you have so much to say. He goes on to say in the last paragraph, I will strive to do better and will utilize what platform I have to promote positivity and empowerment within our community, particularly for black women. Miss Jill Scott did this so gracefully by taking my foolishness as an opportunity to shed more light on the injustices against Breonna Taylor and I hope to only follow in her footsteps. Sincerious apologies, Kyle Coero, whatever. So you're, you have a wonderful publicist that crafted this wonderful letter for you and it's always that way niggas say stupid shit and I and right now I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna put I, right now I'm speaking to niggas I ain't talking about all the stupid shit white folks do because they time is coming they are on the perpetual wheel of doing stupid shit but for niggas st stop degrading black women no matter if they're big, uh, big, fat, skinny, tall, short, dark skin, fair skin, light skin. Stop degrading women. Stop degrading black women. Stop degrading our queens. Start putting them on, on pedestals. So for you, you, uh, Oh, that's good. For you to, and I, I hope that you understand your actions and the pain that this, I'm sure this didn't cause any issue to Jill Scott. Jill Scott is the epitome of self esteem. And like I said, the bitch is a whole mood, a whole mood. But you don't understand what this could have done. Well, I hope you understand what this could have done to women that are built like Jill Scott, that sing like Jill Scott, that look like Jill Scott, that present themselves in that mood, in that mood, in that arena, in that space. You don't know, like like your publicist wrote, the, 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 the impact behind your words. From my favorite, my favorite podcast in the whole rap world, The Read with Kid Fury and Crystal. Words means things. Words mean things. Again, for the people in the motherfucking back, words mean things. So when you don't have to say something, when there is no reason for you to say something, when she may not be your cup of tea, cup of butter, pecan, ice cream, or your weed of choice, it does not mean you have to speak on them. My mother always told me. Now I rarely follow he to it. Now I rarely follow he. Everything that is thought does not have to be said. Guard my tongue. So with that being said, I think I touched on what I want to touch on with this. Don't come for my queen. My queen. With songs like, Is It The Way That You Love Me? Lazile and E-flat. Huh. Living My Life Like It's Golden. What? What? So many songs. Jasso Bala Miso, whatever the name of that damn song is. Like I know how to sing it. Crown Royal. Family Affair. Miss Jill Scott. Is, is, is For many people, the soundtrack of our lives, especially for black women. So, sir, whomever you may be in your retired status, I don't know if you retired or they never picked you back up and your contract ran, that bitch, I could give a fuck. Men, black men, stop coming for black women. Especially if they didn't send for you. That, she, she wasn't worried. She probably don't even know who the fuck you are. But you made it your business be her business, and now the people are 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 are, are 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 trolling you as they should. So, anyways, make sure you guys subscribe in one of these damn corners. I forget what corner it is. You gonna have a subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you push this uh 
that you get all the notifications. Make sure you check out my podcast, Royally Fuck the Podcast. It is on all platforms, iHeartRadio, um, iTunes, Anchor, all of the um, all of the uh, podcast platforms. And that is it. This is your boy because I didn't introduce myself earlier. I am His Royal Highness, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. Um, and I thank you all for tuning in to another episode um, of Royally Fucked, the vlog here on YouTube. I am gone. I'm going to continue to drink uh, my margaritas. I got some more in there to do, and that's what I'm about to do. Um, so you all have a good motherfucking night. Oh, you're here. I'm pleased. I really dig your company. <laughs>